इतनी पुरानी ईंटे ये तो होना ही था एक तो किराया बढ़ाते नहीं हो मकान खाली करते नहीं हो घोगा बन के बैठे हो गले में हमारे लाओ मत अटैक आ जाएगा Hello and welcome to the short review of Globo Sitabo but before that please subscribe to this channel your one stop guide to movies and related anything to it Globo Sitabo review in one line this is not the movie for everyone director Sujith Sarkar fabricated an interesting premise of this year and possibly the most compelling work of his career if you follow his ventures in direction you will see his propensity towards experimentation his alluring work spoke one's thought Every time he's behind the camera but this time the trial and error run for 1 hour in a 90 minutes movie heads towards a bitter ending can you wait for that draggy setup do watch for the answer Bollywood's talent trouble is not something very new as a subject and in most of the cases the execution was hilarious an evergreen movie like Hera Feri ye tera ghar ye mera ghar kiraedar chachi 420 dealt with absolute fun The feel good factor is a key element for those iconic titles but I cannot say the same for Gulabo Sitabo. It started with boasting the iconic lens of Lucknow and the framework. The use of a yellow tint took us down to the memory lane called nostalgia. It's a story of two cunning men going after each other in hilarious ways with the agendas. Meet Amitabh Bachchan as Mirza, a 78 year old veteran living only to possess the aged mansion Fatima Mahal, and Aishman Khurana as Banke standing in his way who is also being a tenant of that mansion mirza was all after money in some of the other ways and trying to pushing out those tenants living long there without paying much of the rental banke become the resistance and the support of fellow tenants to make the allies stronger mirza teamed up with a lawyer played by vijendra kala and banke got the backing of an archaeologist played by vijay raj both the associators having different agendas to allure the parties into their entanglement The characters were busy logging their heads forgetting the real keeper of that mansion Mirza's wife the Begum aged 95 played by Farooq Jafar whom he is scared of when the men were busy in fighting and to establish a clean sweep over others with the help of power and money Begum ran away in search of love again what comes next is a realization but to realize that you need to wait for a moment after watching the narrative and possibly then only you can connect the dots with the mixed feelings The story is no doubt a well written one by Juhi Chaturvedi but stretch out long for the finale. The consistent problem with the writing is one will have mammoth expectations in almost every frame. The brilliant dialogues and the delivery will bring you at the edge of laugh blaster and then again it goes back to ground zero. The build up never gives you the chance to laugh out loud. The persistent deaths of anticipations drag the narrative. Gulabo Sitabo heavily relies on acting. Amitabh Bachchan and Ayushman Khurana shared the workload all together. Whereas the other is already declared the superstar of the century, it is Ayushman Khurana's test to prove himself in front of the mega star. And what a splendid job he did. Many times we heard from the other actors that how difficult it is to share the screen with Amitabh Bachchan, but Ayushman Khurana made it a cake walk. In every frame Ayushman Khurana stands tall with his co-star. Amitabh Bachchan added another feather on his crown. and proved his adaptability with times it does look like that age is just a number for him and he can surprise you with his cross generation acting skills the other actors are fit in their roles and there's not much to do for them but farooq jafar as begum can strike a mark in your mind director sujith sarkar tried his hands in tragic comedy here and his success can't be measured by box office collection for sure In another way, it's good that his story released on Amazon Prime rather than big screens. The angles and the use of color grading pointed towards his perspectives about life and his value. He did not crop this work of art for entertainment purposes, but play with the elements in the mix to bring out the satires. There are tons of dialogues and scenes which tell you one thing, that is understand the value. Understand the value of everything, be it your life, people, and your possessions. I don't recommend this movie to everyone unless one has the patience and can take the bitter pills in a funny movie in the end. Five things I like in this movie are never seen before Lucknow. The old Lucknow and its calm beauty captured well in the lens. The acting from the mega star Amitabh Bachchan to Aishman Khurana to every known and unknown actors, everyone did their job flawlessly. Casting Jogi Malan is the casting director here and you will be amazed if you look into this man's ability to hit the bullseye. For a trivia, 
He is also the casting director in Rajamouli's upcoming movie Triple R. Dialogues. Although I expected more out of the dialogues, those still grabbed my attention throughout the movie. Message. The underlying message of values in a form of satire is something new for Bollywood. Director Sujit Sarkar certainly created a new genre with this. My rating is 3 stars as I am not ready to take the bitter pill in a funny movie. Watch this movie if you have a love for cinemas and certainly have patience. Like, follow, subscribe if you like this review. Feel free to comment on your views and thoughts. I would love to read what you like and don't like and improvise more. Thank you for watching.